Well, we have some breaking news to share with you. The 2024 Atlantic City Air Show has been canceled due to the withdrawal of a major act. That, according to a statement from the Greater Atlantic City Chamber in association with Visit Atlantic City and the South Jersey Transportation Authority, the air show was slated to begin on August 13th. Now to developing news from Atlantic City tonight and word that a major annual event is now canceled. Tourism officials announced this afternoon that the 2024 Atlantic City Air Show will not happen this August. The latest blow to that show, which was plagued by financial difficulty earlier this year, Action News reporter Leland Pinder live in Atlantic City tonight. Leland, we're told this was the result of a major act withdrawing from the show. Yeah, Brian, and that's really all organizers have said so far. So we're still working to learn who that act was and why they pulled out. But of course, we know last year the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds were the big event and the main attraction of the entire air show. So we reached out to them directly today. And just a short time ago, we heard back and they said they're not doing any midweek air shows anymore only on weekends. So here's some video from last year. Of course, the Atlantic City Air Show draws in hundreds of thousands of people to the area, brings in millions for the local economy. As you mentioned there, just a few months ago, the show's viability was threatened by a financial shortfall, but major funding came in from the South Jersey Transportation Authority, enabling the show to go on. But today, that organization, the SJTA, along with the Atlantic City Chamber of Commerce, issuing this joint statement on your screen here. They announced the cancellation and extended their thanks to those who have supported the show over the years. Didn't say much more beyond that. Today, the Atlantic City Mayor Marty Small also said the city did everything they could to save the air show, but this was out of their control. We will have more from the mayor later on this evening, but in the meantime, we have reached out to the Chamber of Commerce for uh, further comment and further explanation, but we've not heard back. Of course, this announcement coming just mere weeks before the show was set to go on August 13th and 14th. But for now, that's the latest live in Atlantic City. Leland Pinder, Channel 6 Action News. Brian? Yeah, that show typically draws hundreds of thousands of people to the city. Uh, not the case this summer. Leland, thank you. Well, the Atlantic City Air Show has been grounded. It's one of the most popular summer events at the shore, but this year's show has been canceled. And that's a big blow to local businesses in AC and a huge disappointment for shoregoers. Action News reporter Leland Pinder is live in Atlantic City with more. Leland. Yeah, Rick, Atlantic City will miss out on millions of dollars and thousands of visitors with the air show's cancellation. But tonight we were able to gather a few responses from a few of the key players involved in the air show's planning and ultimate cancellation. The 2024 Atlantic City Air Show is canceled. So many people come and hang out and we have a great time. So I'm sorry to hear that. The Greater Atlantic City Chamber of Commerce said the cancellation is due to a major act dropping out, but organizers did not specify who withdrew or why. The Thunderbirds told Action News they're no longer doing weekday shows, and the Blue Angels said Atlantic City was not on their schedule this year. The show was thought to be rescued months ago when the South Jersey Transportation Authority stepped in to shore up a major financial shortfall. Money the Atlantic City mayor secured for the chamber. We definitely led, led the charge to keep it, but right now this is beyond our control. When asked if the SJTA pulled funding from the show, a statement read in part, while the cancellation is regrettable, we remain dedicated with the Greater Atlantic City Chamber of Commerce and Visit Atlantic City to exploring future opportunities to bring this event back to the beach backdrop of Atlantic City. The Chamber of Commerce had no further comment. It's definitely um, a hit on the economy. The air show brought in millions for the local economy. Previous estimates of the air show estimate that there is about 400,000 visitors and maybe about a third of them are visitors that wouldn't have come to Atlantic City otherwise. Without it, some boardwalk businesses know they'll lose a significant amount of money over those two days. So you're going to lose like 30, 40 percent off of the sale. And the air show was set to take place on August 13th and 14th, just over a month from now. But again, it is or it has been canceled. Live in Atlantic City now, Leland Pinder, Channel 6 Action News. Leland, thank you. One of the biggest annual events at the Jersey Shore is off this year. 
Organizers announcing today this year's Atlantic City Air Show is canceled. The event has drawn hundreds of thousands of people to AC for decades, two decades as a matter of fact. Seanette Wilson reports. People describe the air show as vibrant and a good way to end summer, but the news is putting a financial cloud over some in the city. It's known as thunder over the boardwalk. But this year, the sky over the beach in Atlantic City will be quiet in mid-August. City officials announcing today that this year's show is canceled. My mom loves the air show. Ryan Sullivan, walking the boardwalk with friends this evening, was surprised to hear the news. When you have jets flying around, it's a different experience, you know. The announcement comes a month and a week before the show called a salute to those who serve was supposed to land here. In a joint statement, the Greater Atlantic City Chamber, Visit Atlantic City, and the South Jersey Transportation Authority explained it was due to a major act withdrawing, saying, quote, this decision was not made lightly, and we understand the disappointment it may cause. We extend our heartfelt thanks and gratitude to all who have supported this event over the past number of years. Now, we reached out to each organization for further comment but have not heard back. It was just this past March, the governor's office announced the Transportation Authority was providing $300,000 to help save this year's show. Adam Badawi says the C-Club, where he works on the boardwalk, will notice the absence of air enthusiasts this year. City officials have said the show attracts half a million people each year. We get people from all around the, the country, if not the world, again. So it would be, again, a hit to the business. Megan Dorner works at the family business, Angelo's Fairmount Tavern. It's sad. The air show keeps them busy during dinner hours. Staffing-wise and everything like that, it's kind of like all hands on deck. It's also the loss of a family tradition for many this year. When I was a kid, I, we went every year. It was something we always did with my cousins or with family friends. Um, it's just something you packed up, you went to the beach, and it was just something different, out of the ordinary to look forward to. In Atlantic City, Seanette Wilson, Fox 29 News. It's a sad day here in Atlantic City, according to business owners along the boardwalk. The air show in August won't happen anymore, and that means a major hit to the local economy. To lose that, it's very discouraging. So, you know, I don't know what we can do to get it back, but it, it's, it, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't sound good. Evan Denulis owns three spots along the boardwalk, including Forno Restaurant, which opened last week. He tells NBC10 everyone is talking about the big cancellation. The Greater Atlantic City Chamber of Commerce says a major act withdrew from the air show, forcing it to shut down. Organizers added this decision was not made lightly. We lose Convention Hall. You know, there's no traffic on the boardwalk. Now we lose Miss America. Now we lose an air show. It's it's not it's not good. The city's mayor tells us the show brings in more than 500,000 people over the two days in August. He says that leads to a $50 million economic boom for the area. Mayor Marty Small released a statement saying, We're sorry to hear the news the air show won't be happening this summer. The small administration stepped up to do everything that needed to be done to save the air show earlier this year. But in the end, this is a situation beyond the city's control. It's going to take a major hit for the city. I mean, it's bad enough as, you know, trying to improve things. This is really hurt really, really hurt. The air show was saved earlier this year from going away when the South Jersey Transportation Authority stepped in with hundreds of thousands of dollars in funding. Now folks are left wondering about the future of the show and the boardwalk. It used to bring a lot of people to, to the boardwalk, just almost like the same as the July 4th. The excitement and roar of the planes will be absent next month. Fans are hoping it's only for one year. Aaron Baskerville, NBC 10 News. Atlantic City couldn't clear the runway for the Atlantic City Air Show, unfortunately. Next month's annual extravaganza of flight has officially been canceled. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Carrie Carrado has the impact that this will have on businesses. It's a show that brought thousands of people to Atlantic City. The AC Air Show was a salute to those who served and featured all types of acts over the ocean. With little over a month ago, the Greater Atlantic City Chamber said it's canceled after a major act withdrew from the show. They said in part this decision was not made lightly and we understand the disappointment it may cause. We extend our heartfelt thanks and gratitude to all who have supported this event over the past number of years. Back in May, the air show's future was up in the air, but Governor Phil Murphy's office said the South Jersey Transportation Authority 
Authority would give $300,000 to fund the event so it could go on. In the meantime, restaurants and businesses in the area like Vagabond Kitchen and Tap House say they were looking forward to it. Every year, uh, we always get a real good boom for business. Uh, all the businesses locally, uh, the crowds come rolling in, traffic's real heavy. Uh, it's something we look forward to every year. The businesses say it also helped that the show was in the middle of the week because it was nice to have a rush outside of their normal rush on the weekends. To have a, a real big event with hundreds of thousands of people coming into town uh, really helps out during the week. Well, having a Tuesday and Wednesday with a little pop at dinner time, it's always great. That's Kip Russell, general manager of the Wonder Bar. He says they too wish the show was still happening. He says many people would come by for a bite to eat, even by boat. We're always promoting Atlantic City. Anything good for Atlantic City is good for us. And we'd like to have the people come down here and enjoy themselves. So yeah, it's a big bummer. Even though the show is canceled this year, businesses say they are still ready for everyone this summer, even on a weekday. Uh, the crowds aren't here as much, so you'll be able to get into all these local restaurants a lot easier. Um, it, it's just that beaches aren't as crowded, so uh, still come down for the day. In Atlantic City, Kerry Corrado, CBS News, Philadelphia.